Welcome to Excel Level Up. This is the channel where I share my 25 years of experience to help you level up your Excel skills. Normally my videos get into more complex topics such as XLOOKUP or pivot tables, but today we're looking at the simple sum formula. You know, many of us are taught to use the formulas like sum, an average, min, max, or count. And when we're dealing with numbers or amounts, and while those are correct, and there's nothing wrong with using those formulas, if you actually use them slightly differently and pair them with the subtotal function, you'll find that overall the values or the function is more dynamic and more useful for you. But let's jump right in and take a look at an example. Okay, let's demonstrate why subtotal is better than sum is when looking at data in Excel. So let's look at the table I'm demonstrating here. I have three columns, one that represents a sales region, then different customers in every sales region, and finally, how many monthly sales I had for each customer. And let's say I'm curious about the total number of sales I have. You know, sum does work fine here. So let's go ahead and we'll create an example of sum. It's just really easy. You put in sum and then you highlight all the fields or the column that you want to add together. You close it and it's going to show a total of 198,000 right here, which is perfectly fine. Now let's do subtotal and see how that works a little bit differently. So I'll do a subtotal formula. Now I have to say what type of subtotal I want to do. For the argument's sake here, I'm going to use number nine, which is sum. So it's just going to actually put a number nine in the formula. I do a comma, and I'm going to pick the same fields. And lo and behold, you see the exact same number. So all these monthly sales together are 198,000. Now where subtotal comes into play is if I use the filters on here. So let's say now on the sales region, I want to filter it down to just the West region and I unselect everything except for West and hit OK, you're going to notice now at the top, the subtotal now is only going to display what I have filtered down to, whereas the sum is going to be the sum of all the columns. So subtotal basically starts to work as a reportable figure. So what I'm seeing on the screen is what I see in the totals and not the grand sum of the entire page. Sum can't handle that right there. Now I do want to demonstrate one other item though that sum total the way I built this is not going to work very well. So once again, I took the filter off and now both the sum and the subtotal are the same. But let's say I manually decided to hide some of the rows, like maybe the user does, this is how they work. So let's say then I go in here and I hide the south and the west region. I right click it and say hide so I just don't see it. The subtotal at the top is still not going to recognize that I'm manually hidden those fields. The subtotal, the way I built it, is only going to recognize if the filter itself is actually being applied to it. So once again, let's unhide these rows here. And you might remember when I built the subtotal formula, I put a number nine in right here. There's another way you can put that, and it's actually number 109. So let's do a whole nother subtotal here. So I'll start doing the subtotal formula. And instead of picking nine, I'm going to go down into the 100 range, which offer the same types of subtotals, but these now will take hidden or it will take hidden rows out of the formula. So now I'll select 109. I'm going to select the same values, close parentheses, and you'll see right now they're all 198,000 because I haven't hidden anything. But now if I manually decide to hide certain rows, you'll see now the second subtotal, which is subtotal type 109, it will now only add the visible rows that I manually hidden. So really, subtotal 9, subtotal 109, and the other different types will work depending on how you actually utilize this page. In addition to the sum formula within the subtotal, I find it very useful to often use the count version of that in subtotal as well. So when I'm using filters, I know exactly usually at the top of the page when I filter how many results are in that set down below. Anyway, if you've made it this far, I would appreciate a like or a comment. And in the comment, let me know if you have used subtotal in the past and how your experience was with it, or if you're willing to try it in the future. I hope you have a great day.